Ladies and gentlemen, honorable members of the Congress of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr., President of the Republic of the Philippines. Estrada, Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, and Rodrigo Roa Duterte, Senate President Juan Miguel Subiri, and the Honorable Members of the Senate, House Speaker Ferdinand Martin Romualdez, and the Honorable Members of the House of Representatives, Chief Justice Alexander Gismundo, and the Honorable Justices of the Supreme Court, the Apostolic Nuncio, most Reverend Charles John Brown and the esteemed members of the Diplomatic Corps, the Honorable Members of the Cabinet, our First Lady, Luis Araneta Marcos, and our children. <laughs> Distinguished guests, ang mga minamahal kong mga kababayan, Ladies and gentlemen, magandang hapong po sa inyong lahat. I come before you today to address you as it is my duty as President of the Republic. We live in difficult times brought about by some forces of our own making, but certainly also by forces that are beyond our control. But we have, and we will continue to find solutions. And these are some of them. In terms of the economy, we will implement a sound fiscal management. Tax and... <laughs> On the area of foreign policy, I will not preside over any process that will abandon even one square inch of territory of the Republic of the Philippines to any foreign power. Partnerships and alliances that we make with all 
worldwide stability that all nations will need as we emerge into this new global economy. The Philippines will continue to promote stronger and multifaceted relationships with all our partners around the world. We are in fact grateful for the messages of support and offers of help that we have received from many of our friends in the international community. This has been communicated to us through the different envoys and ambassadors here in the Philippines. Such strong relationships can only be beneficial to all involved. Rise right. right.